Welcome back. This will be a very quick one. We're just going to move our style content over into separate files as we've already done. So let's start with the, where should we go? Uh, let's do new palette form. So new palette form has a bunch of styles. We need the drawer width to be included. So we're going to cut all of that out in my styles directory, make a new palette form styles dot JS. Save, make sure we export default styles. Is that what we called it? Styles? Yes. Okay. Then we're going to import it in here. Import styles from dot slash styles slash new palette form styles. And the rest should be good to go. We pass in styles here. Let's verify our styles all show up. Okay. That reminds me we should fix this. It moved to the center. We'll come back. So moving on, we have, after the new palette form, we have our nav. Mm, where are you? Palette form nav. Same thing, cut the styles out of here, and then we can make a new file here, which we'll call palette form nav styles, quite long, dot JS. Paste this in, and then export at the bottom styles. Export default styles, I mean. Now we do have this drawer width that we're using twice. We're defining it twice. And if we wanted to change it, if I wanted a larger drawer, I would have to change it twice because we're also using it right here. So we could potentially refactor that. Uh, I'll revisit that at the end of this video. What we could do is make a constants file. And in that file, we could have any other app constants we wanted to share. You could also make it a global variable if you wanted to, uh, but then ESLint will probably yell at you. Okay, so let's go back to our new palette form nav and import styles from dot slash new, or no, dot slash styles slash palette form nav styles. We can also get rid of the validator stuff because that's all been moved into a separate component. And let's see if it works. We're using styles down here. Just do a hard refresh just to make sure. And it looks like it's all working. Okay. Next we have our draggable color box. Is there any other styles? Let me just check our other components. We have our palette list. We've moved all those styles. We have the palette meta form. It doesn't have any styles in here. We can clean up. We don't need the text field. What else do we have in here? We have single color palette. We already did that. Ah, we have our color picker form styles. So we can grab that. New file, color picker form styles.js. Put this in here, export default styles. And then in color picker form, we delete what was in there before. Import styles from dot slash styles slash color picker form styles. And it still works. We have our color picker form and it looks the same. Next up, and last of all, I think, we don't have any styles for draggable color list, but for draggable color box, we do have some styles. So same thing. New file, draggable color box styles.js. Paste that in, export, default styles, Come back to draggable color box, import styles, you know the drill, from dot slash styles slash draggable color box styles, and it all looks the same. We still have our draggable color box working. Okay, so if we wanted to move the drawer width into a constant, which we have in our palette form nav styles and also the new palette form styles, what we could do is make a new file for our constants. We can just put it in source and we can just call it constants.js. Okay, so constants.js is my new file. I can define my const, uh, let's go with drawer width equals 400. And then I can just export that. And then in my palette form nav where I have, where I'm using drawer width, I can import the constant drawer width from dot slash, 
And actually we're in the styles directory. So I am going to need to do a dot dot slash and then constants dot JS or just constants. And then I can set this to be drawer width. And then we can do the same thing. Just copy this over to my palette. Where are you? New palette form styles. Okay, so if it all works, at this point we should have our palette drawer look exactly the same. But if I want to change it to be twice as large, I change it in one place and it updates both the drawer width we see here and then also the offset of our content. See how it slides over, it gets smushed. That's all happening because we have this shared constant that we're now using here. You can see width of the drawer, width of the paper, and then also here we have our app bar shift, which is based off of the drawer width. Okay, so that is pretty much it. We've moved all of our styles into separate files. Our components are significantly shorter. If we look at our new palette form, for example, it's still long. We've got a lot of stuff in here. If we wanted to, you could move the entire drawer to be a separate component. You could have it palette form nav, palette form drawer, and that would in turn render the color picker form. And then we have our draggable color list. So we could break it up more, but we have all of our styles moved into different files. We have a constants file. So if there's anything else we needed, we could just export another const here. We could potentially use it for media query breakpoints that we wanna share across all of our files. There's a lot of different use cases. Okay, so I'm gonna commit. So this one, we did quite a few changes. We'll say, move styles out and add constants file. All right, 